Canva now has an equation editor that is built right in. Let me quickly show you how it works. First off, you have to go into apps and find it. If you just type in equation, you'll find it here. When you click on it for the first time, you will press open and there are basic and advanced equations. Once you've installed it once, you will find it automatically in your sidebar. You won't need to go to the apps menu anymore. How does it work? You're not typing a text box. You just go into equations and you start typing your equation. For example, two thirds plus five squared. Insert equation. You can then move it and resize it to anywhere on your canvas. What's great about it is that these are actually editable. So I can go back in a design and click on any of my equations and you'll see that the equation will come back up so I could edit it if I made a mistake or if I wanted to change. You just update the element and boom, it's done. If you go into advanced, you'll find some more features here, even calculus. You'll find some geometry symbols that you need, Greek letters, and so forth. You do have the ability to change the color of your equations. So if I wanted them in a different color, we can do that. So far from what I've discovered, you can't use latex. So you can't say like int to make integral, but if you want to have like lower and upper bounds on an integral, you can do shift dash for an underscore and then shift six for a carrot, and you can do the traditional carrot to get any type of an exponent there. I'll have to play more. This is in beta. I'm curious if Canva will be adding in some more keyboard shortcuts. Right now, I don't see that many. If you use a division sign though, it comes up with the division symbol. So that's just a slash that I'm doing to get the division. If I type in shift eight for an asterisk, it comes up with the time sign. And if I type in just a left parenthesis, it does automatically put in the closing parenthesis too. Anyway, I was so excited about this. I just wanted to show it off very quickly. And remember that even when you close out of the design and come back, all of these equations are editable. If you are in your text field like this, you can't just double click on the equation to edit it. So know that you have to go into the equations element and then click on it and then you will be able to edit it. You can even do things like change the color after the effect just update the element and boom, you're good to go. I hope that this was helpful and that you love it. If you know, you know, this is the equation for a heart. Of course, not a filled in heart, but the outline of the heart. Anyway, I hope that this tip makes you a fraction as excited as it makes me and that you'll be able to get good use out of it. Bye for now.